I do need to talk about a very important part is that the polygons here are the buttons that for you to edit your texture um, polygons oh right so you can press auto here right what it does oh, I should take I should talk about manually so you click on this or you double click then you go into the um, mesh edit what we used to call the polygons and oh there you go so when you enter this mode you your tool details will show you a bunch of new stuff including your glue stuff and your auto button here is exact, uh, sort of the same as this one sort of I'll mention a little bit more later and you can auto generate your stuff let's say let's have a fresh start all right so oops ah there you go so let's say when you first imported your PSD you should be looking at all the objects in just rectangle wrappers right and that's all I have to do with polygons and you know that you cannot work until you got polygons in you can still add them manually like the ways we used to learn yeah or let's do another way let's have four points in there's this very powerful auto button it would give up your presets and these numbers here let's just try standard automatically it generated a bunch of polygons not perfect I don't know why it's not perfect uh, I think I messed it up a little bit because it's kind of a awkward situation right here um, otherwise we can try the light or the heavy and why are you guys not linking up it should do properly if, if it's like fresh from PSE import um, but there are some presets here and I made one myself I call it sample one and what it does is that you can always give it a preset and then manually work with these buttons now I'm clicking and dragging on numbers I'm so I'm cranking up the notch like that and you can see the immediate effect of to the polygons all right so if I want to like I don't need too much detail transformation in this piece so I'm gonna crank up number into a bigger one all the way to 52 lower the or extending the margins and now I have a fairly um, widespread dots polygon arrangement all right um, good for some simple movements keep things under control in in smooth transitions all right if you want more details go buy the heavy one or you can make your own and my sample right here I have like vertice spacing at 10 pixels all right this is like I think it's minimum yeah it's minimum and when it when it does that a lot of these triangles are more um, perfectly arranged except that there's really too much for like a big texture like this shirt or something like that all right so um, once you're done you can still do some manual adjustments all right say so that I want to change this part you can do that yourself and there's erasure tool here this there is also the lasso tool yeah but the most importantly is that it has the ability to click drag every dot manually now remember in my old tutorials I used to tell you never click drag polygons when you are in editing the texture mode all right but now it doesn't matter anymore you can just click drag anything um, it may create some errors if you do it like extreme I don't know yet but no reason to test the, no no reason to you know to do that on your serious project you can test around but uh, just be careful uh, still until things are confirmed but uh, if you do happen to got your model texture cut off like this corner over here is cut off probably you can just do this instead of any more points and then it will be covered all right and that is for the texture edit tool let's do the auto mode right here auto sample 
you can change it anytime. It's so weird. Like you can change the density of your vertices on the fly without concern. I can do this, do a bit of transform, and then I'm good. I'm gonna do next part of transformation. And I'm like, okay, I don't need that much, so I'm gonna just tune it back to normal. All right, that's totally an option.